Good afternoon to all of you. If uh, Cardinal Orlando Pedro is from Ibojano, I am an Italian. I am an Italian. I am Ibojano. This was already presented in uh, Palawan during the skit of Sana Catechetical Institute for Greece and Italiana So this accreditation was conceived in 2004 by uh, Bishop uh, Socrates. Then this accreditation uh, evolved into certification. So it uh, evolved into certification. So, mabilisan ng punto kasi nagpresent na ito mo. So, nung uh, January 29, 2014, kung sila Mabel Jens, ako, Dr. Bilal, Dr. Estander, Sister Reya, si Mas Emma Jerry, yun. Sinimulan namin yung uh, certification of catechetical centers and institutes. Tapos, uh, other methods. I had a this man was uh, uh, he became our advisor. The patient mission was uh, coordinated and I would like to highlight the number four uh, mission statement to implement self-assessment and certification among member schools as a process towards a commitment to continuing improvement in quality religious education. Then also for the rationale, uh, due to emerging challenges, uh, we have challenges in the catechetical ministry like uh, migration of Catholics to public schools. We have uh, policies in our diocese where we have this problem. We have, uh, Catechists. They train and form Catechists, then after a few years, they transfer to the public schools. And the one of our parish president diocese uh, gave us a uh, piece of advice. Sabi niya, uh, it's better to train and form middle-aged persons. Yung 40s, 50s. Yung mga I mean, nakatapos ng college, but they have this desire to study, to finish college degree. Ang ginagawa ng Paris is na yun, through the support of the Paris Financial Resources, they send some cabinets to undergo formation in the catechetical center. So yung pera, kali sa parokya, tapos nagpatulungan pa yung catechetical center. So, hindi, hindi nawawala yung yung pero hindi ito lang sa mga institution sa parokya o sa diocese. Tapos, uh, bagay din sa Amazon, pagkatapos nilang patrain, hindi nila hinihuwan yung, yung parokya. Kasi, katanggang sila yung forties, fifties, nalangin nang ihay pa sila sa public school. So, Malaki yung uh, percentage na nananatili sila sa parokya. Hindi ka gaya ng mga bata, mga atis, ang dali nila ang lumipan sa, sa ibang situation sa public schools. Kaya yun yung uh, sinabi sa akin at uh, nakakuyo. So, when we have this problem of a uh, lack of catechists, 
yung problem of erection and construction of new catechetical centers from African health. And if you have existing uh, catechetical centers and uh, you need help for the standardization, not on salaries, but the programs uh, and measurement for coordinators and student companies African health. So yeah, you could, are responding to the emerging challenges in the catechetical apostolate in the Philippines in order to set standards for the catechetical centers and institutes in the country. The country established a certification process for catechetical centers and institutes based on the guidelines of the general directory for catechesis which means the three dimensions of formation is knowing, living, and doing. In a nutshell, we can see in the conceptual framework the whole process of this certification. The overriding concern is new evangelization. You see from the top, is new evangelization. And at the bottom, also new evangelization. The template for certification of the catechetical centers and institutes uh, uh, comprise the formation program, the supposed standards for certification, and shepherding coordination. Instead of using the word administration, we use the word shepherding. At the formation program, the three categories, knowing, being, and doing. So in the knowing, I am a supportors and students, and the focus in is on content curriculum in the program. The being also for coordinators and student activities, and for doing the study integration of knowing and being. Then uh, witnessing. And then uh, uh, for the shepherding, we have the organizational structure, linkages, alumni tracking of missionary disciples where are the students now where are the Catholics after graduation where do they go no? then uh, there will be an assessment of knowing, being and doing by using the appreciative inquiry of AI and then recommendations for personal and pastoral conversion and that will be used for new evangelization that's the whole process for um, new evangelization. Now we go to the process or uh, methodology. How do we go about this? First is the formulation of instrument. We have already formulated three instruments. One is for the program, the curriculum. Then two for the formators and three for the student practice. The other one we have the popular course is the radio. Mother Jess, Napakasipan, Sino Sika Jerry, Sika Sika Jerry, Sika Sika Jerry, nagbibigay kami para magawa yung instrument. And then, I will take the instrument for three catechetical centers or institutes. This is already in the process for the Bishop of the Evangelization Catechetical Center, Mother of Life, Mother of Francisca Catechetical Center, missionary formation institute. After the piloting, there will be validation of the instrument. Then the final drop of the instrument. Then after that, the bishop requests from EDGE for certification of catechetical centers or institute. After that, there will be self-assessment or self-appraisal or self-survey. Uh, yung sending of papers on what things to prepare. Papadali namin yung instrument. Uh, para alam nyo kung ano yung nyo no? at uh, para hindi matang. Para alam nyo na pag alam nyo yung nyo, wala kayong ilang matang. Then growing up a synthesis of ideas, principles, and theories on categories, categorical formations. Then identification, of areas for assessment of knowing being and then meeting with the director, directors of the catechetical center or institute. Then, 
and she informs the right wing, the bishop of the diocese, the two bishop members, and CDC the president for the certifiers BC. The approval of NTJ to commence the actual BC of the certifiers. We have already formed a uh, different certif certifiers. Sa Central Luzon, Chaka Northern Luzon, Sister Reya, Apo, Chaka Sama, Sa SCR, Chaka Samadita, no? Sina Sina Jerry, Father James, si Dr. Listan, at Chaka Sekota. So, we are preparing for the uh, certification for uh, the team of certifiers to visit your institution. And then, for the actual visit of a team of certifiers, there will be an assessment of, of knowing the doing, and then interviews with the digital or mentors, strategies, then analysis, visiting inquiry, then assessment by, by the certifiers. Para sa paasko, pero sila ang uh, valuation, pero hindi naman yung kasintin din ang paasko. Ano na? Medyo, medyo. Then, uh, HS feedback findings and recommendations to the Bishop of the Diocese and HH Chair for official certification. Thank you, Father. We go 